Hey everyone, welcome back to Long Mind Channel. Today is a special day as we come together to observe the World COPD Day, November the 15th. Join us in spreading awareness, sharing stories, and advocating for long health. Let's dive into the video. COPD affects millions worldwide. COPD means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and is a term that sounds complex, but I'm here to break it down into smaller, understandable pieces. But before I could jump in, if uh, you find this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button to stay updated on our latest content. All right, let's dissect the term COPD. Chronic meaning not curable. Obstructive indicating blocked airways. Pulmonary relates to your lung and disease signifies lung damage. It's crucial to remember that while chronic obstructive pulmonary disease isn't curable, it is treatable. Symptoms may vary and takes years to develop, but with the right treatment, they can be managed and the progression of disease can be slowed down. Now, let's dive into some eye-opening facts about COPD. Did you know that one out of every five individuals over 40 years has COPD diagnosis? In the UK, COPD exacerbation are the second most common cause of emergency hospital admissions. And uh, worldwide figures uh, indicate 320 million people are affected by COPD, with more than 10% of the global adult population living with this condition. Now, let's look into the causes. COPD isn't just a smoker's disease. In fact, up to 25% of people with COPD never smoked. Various factors contribute to COPD, including early life events, um, such as being born early or childhood asthma or respiratory infections. Um, the other cause might be genetics, like alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency and infections um, like pneumonia, tuberculosis, um, environmental factors like pollution and the symptoms of COPD including the shortness of breath, chronic cough and wheezing can vary uh, person to person and also day to day. Many individuals don't get to diagnose until after the age of 40 but remember early signs can appear as young as the ages of 20. Additionally, normal lung capacity decreases every year after the age of 30. When you talk about the age, um, let's discuss about how aging process affect the lung function. Changes like uh, decreased elasticity in your lungs and weakening of the respiratory muscles and alteration in your chest wall shapes can impact your breathing. However, lifestyle fact factors like um, regular exercise or um, avoiding harmful substances or um, um, other kind of meditation, yoga, those kind of practices can help to mitigate those declines at early age. Did you know only 2% of the population breathe normally using their nose in a rhythmic inhale-exhale pattern? The nasal cycle governed by the autonomic nervous system influences this. I released earlier, the earlier this week, a nasal cycle video, so I put that in my description box. Please check out the link. In addition, individuals with COPD um, face um, challenges like anxiety and depression due to air trapping the narrowed airways and also the increased levels of CO2 that impacts their breathing capacity and also their physical endurance. As a result, they perceived anxiety, depression, PTSD, and uh, lots of emotional mental health challenges. But hold on, there's more to uncover. In this modern age, aiming for 10,000 to 15,000 steps daily in our normal living, surprisingly, our ancestors didn't need to do this as they naturally breathe and there was a lot of physical activity they had to do. Um, Award-winning science journalist uh, James Nestor has explored the impact of dysfunctional breathing on health. His research discloses that 10% okay, of the population suffer from asthma with a significant portion linked to dysfunctional breathing alone. So Nestor, uh, James Nestor emphasizes the overlooked significance of breath in our industrial era. 
where stress induced or over breathing and also breathing through the mouth instead of a natural pathway the nasal pathway the nose and this leads to a lot of chronic illnesses the past phase life has led us to these uh, dysfunctional breathing patterns resulting in a high blood pressure high sugar levels in our blood and increased cortisol which is related to the increased stress levels and further chronic inflammation and chronic illnesses like asthma copd and autoimmune diseases astonishingly the figures you also confirm 60 to 70 percent of us breathe through our mouth during sleep leading to sleep apnea did you know 80 percent of the workers experience dysfunctional breathing even exemplified by the term um, email apnea uh, as described by James Nestor. This is a reflex reaction to the wide range of emails a worker faces in their workplace, holding their breath every time and it triggers a stress response. And this is related to sleep similarities between sleep apnea and also linked to the asthma, anxiety and autoimmune issues. So how we can navigate this modern challenge? The answer lies in breath work by focusing on the nasal breathing. Addressing your dysfunctional breathing, which affects 90 to 95% of us, and paying attention to your posture and the diaphragmatic form can help you to make a positive stride in your uh, well being. Taking just five to six seconds, um, both inhale and exhale, can synchronize your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and your blood pressure. In interestingly, like uh, ancient practices, um, and Hindu prayer practices like Om chanting, Catholic prayers and Buddhist prayers have incorporated this rhythmic pattern of breathing for centuries. And uh, this is also confirmed by uh, James Nestor in one of his interviews. To wrap up, I invite you to consider the importance of breath in your daily life. If um, you're intrigued by the potential benefits, I offer a five-week breath work program, uh, but don't take my word for it. Uh, experience the value for yourself and uh, the link uh, is here in the video and also put the link in the description box below also i'm inviting you for sing for long challenge in support of raising donations for copd federation um, please join the challenge and i had started this uh, since the first of november um, and i'm uploading my uh, share of video or singing a one minute singing clip in my facebook page teletherapies so i would recommend you to actually do join the challenge and support raising the awareness and also donate once you join the challenge please donate um the link is on the in the video there and also i'll put the link in the description box please join the challenge and share your kindness with a possible donation to breathe free and the link is on this video and also i'll put in the description box and also i request your five minutes of your valuable time if anyone watching this um having a chronic respiratory disease either copd asthma pulmonary fibrosis a wide range of chronic respiratory disease uh, tuberculosis as well um, included and please do complete the survey um, so that it benefits um, further addition of um, our services for the needs of people suffering chronic obstructive um, pulmonary disease and other chronic respiratory disease. All the links are displayed in this video and also in the description box below. I also offer an online breathwork support group as I mentioned earlier so I forgot to mention the time it is every Saturday at 6 30 p.m uk time uh, where you can experience the benefits firsthand um, of the breathwork uh, doing the magic in your body. So that concludes today's exploration of COPD, breathing and impact of our modern lifestyle on respiratory health. If you found this video enlightening, hit that like button, share it with your friends and network and people you care for and subscribe for more content. Remember, your breath is your ally in navigating the challenge of the modern world. So let's use it wisely. Until next time, stay healthy, stay curious, breathe consciously, and take care of yourself. Signing off, Devi Sundar.